Blockchain is called the trust machine because of its unique architecture. We're moving from a world in which we have these centralized companies, centralized service providers, who are often in an adversarial relationship with their customers, to a world in which we're essentially replacing them with services provided by open ecosystems. For the first time in history, we have an appropriate substrate for global identity. It's a sea change in how economic, social, and political systems on the planet are being built and will be built in the future. I'm Joseph Lubin, one of the co-founders of the Ethereum project. Also founded a company called Consensus, and I'm proud to be an advisor to Aeroswap. You wouldn't want a global identity system to be centralized and therefore controlled by a specific group. A centralized system is, is too valuable a target. And so this new kind of global database system, this new Ethereum world computer is ideal for that application. If anybody's gonna monetize aspects of your identity or communications, it should probably be you. If anyone's gonna monetize your attention, it should probably be you. There will be attention networks that pop up in this decentralized World Wide Web that replace the former advertising networks. So you can look to see something like Facebook become decentralized over time. In the developing world, it's even more important. There are many people who don't have state-issued identity, don't have financial relationships, and this sort of system enables them to establish their own self-sovereign identity that they're fully in control of. And it becomes persistent and portable. If you're bumped out of your country in some sort of disaster or war without any possessions, without paperwork, you can uh, reconstitute your life and reclaim your identity uh, relatively easily. These systems are very young. There's a lot of building that we need to do both at the protocol layer and at the application layer. We still need to build more scalable systems. We need to build systems that better handle privacy and confidentiality. At the application layer, we need to build layers and layers of functionality, but also make it easier for the general population to operate this thing. That's going to grow participation and franchisement. And then we add the machines, then we add the sensors, and have essentially a machine-to-machine -machine economy, so that's going to be big.